In posterior subcapsular cataract in a diabetic patient with significant macular edema is undergoing a cataract surgery. A 6 mm long upper temporal quadrant sclerocorneal tunnel is being created. Surgery is being done at a topical anesthesia. A small amount of cotton is placed in the surgical site and that so soaked with poparacaine. Small entry is made into the anterior chamber at the anterior end of the tunnel. Tunnel floor pinpoint entry. Rexis is of adequate size about 5.5 millimeters approximately. Hydro dissection is attempted at the end of the rexis after completing the internal opening of the tunnel. Note that as the hydro dissection is being made, there is some resistance for the fluid flow. Usually one point hydro dissection is adequate. I have done it at three points and then I saw the fluid coming up half the way across the posterior capsule but it did not proceed. I stopped it and then did it from the other side. It came up beautifully, rotated the nucleus. I don't see any posterior capsular rent at this stage even after rerunning the videos in slow pace. Nucleus is rotated into the anterior chamber. Part of nucleus is still in the posterior chamber. This is the one which is undesirable. Never try to push a wire vectors when a portion of nucleus is still in the posterior chamber and uh, I have done it here. Now anyway the whole nucleus is in the anterior chamber. It is being bisected at this stage and the hemi are being removed. A little bit of epinucleus is collapsed out by visco expression. I thought everything is all right and I started doing cortical aspiration. Suddenly I noted a gap in the posterior cortex. Evidently there is a PZ tear. There are a couple of options. I can take a vitrector right at this stage and start uh, chopping the vitreous. But in my past experience I have seen that some amount of cortical chunks fall into the vitreous cavity. In this case I thought of using both vanas and vitrector combined. Initially, I am doing a Vanas vitrectomy. There is no drag on the vitreous. Wherever the vitreous is there, I am taking my Vanas and cutting the vitreous with the injection of hyaluronate and chondroitin sulfate in front of the opening on the in the posterior capsule. It is possible now to aspirate the cortex as much as possible without allowing it to fall into the vitreous cavity. Repeated ingestion of the double visco is needed at this stage to push the vitreous that is trying to come inside the anterior chamber back into the posterior chamber. The uh, Simco candle is taken from the periphery to the center and then goes straight into the place where the cortex is seen and uh, hold the cortex and pull it towards the center. So that way the drag on the vitreous which can indirectly drag the vitreous space is minimized. As you can see here, if the vitreous gets into the port of the syncocanula, it will not have a hold on the cortex. So try to inject the chondroitin sulfate again and again, push the vitreous and then try to remove it. Maximal amount of cortex has been aspirated in this way uh, and now I am taking a vitrector and uh, removing the debris in the anterior vitreous, the vitreous which has prolapsed and maybe some amount of cortical material that is present still in the posterior chamber. The aim is to have a good opposed edges of the tear so that you know it is evident that there is no vitreous in front of it. So,
still some amount of cortex in the sub incision area which can now be aspirated using the Simco cannula. I try to avoid the removal of the cortex using the uh, retractor for the reason that uh, small pieces of it can get you know divided and go into the vitreous cavity. Now lens has been placed uh, in the sulcus because of the absence of uh, the intact posterior capsule centered here and uh, this patient uh, had diabetic macular edema and it was indicated to inject a small amount of transvenolone into the eye which now serves double purpose to minimize the inflammation in the anterior segment and also will identify the strands of vitreous cavity which may be coming from the posterior segment. We seem to have achieved our targets of avoiding cortical droppings, complete removal of cortex and herniated vit vitreous and implanting an IOL. The cause for PCR is probably the bisection of nucleus as one pole was still inside the posterior chamber and that is uh, iatrogenic. The conjunctiva is closed with the brain blue. Thank you.